ladies and gentlemen. Success is a lot of hard work. However, there's a tinge of luck that comes with it. A lot of people fall victim to what's called survivorship bias. What do I mean by that? Survivorship bias is seeing one person that did a particular thing and using that as evidence to confirm however your your views or beliefs are. So let's say I'm on YouTube and man, I'm down in the dumps, you know, I'm I'm looking for hope, I'm looking for a way to make money. And I click on a YouTube video and there's this trucker and he's talking about his story. He's going from broke, sleeping on the couch to making a million dollars a year. Cool. But he starts talking about his story and he says that, you know, I grew up, you know, didn't grow up rich, you know, grew up in a two-parent household and I was a bad kid growing up and I dropped out of school and da da da. Now, did I grow up in a two-parent household? Yeah. Did I drop out of school? Yeah. The point is, a lot of the times back 15, 16, 17, 18, I used I was biased as far as use survivorship bias and saying, okay, because that person matched my story somehow or, I, or it was similar, in my head, I ira irrationally increase the probability that I will be successful in the area that that individual is because his story is similar to mine. So I'm taking this, I'm taking what he says and I'm attributing, I'm using that as confirmation to reassure myself. Understand this. Yes, a lot of success is hard work. It's a lot of dedication. It's a lot of soft skills that you have to have in order to give you that edge however a lot of the time success is it's luck added to it because there's so many different moving variables in life and there's so many different moving variables in society amongst people and their agendas that there is you might find yourself subject to randomness now this is why people say don't give up. Just keep going, keep going, keep going. Because the more you keep going, the more trials you go through where the probabilities start playing out. So I might have tried this business. Okay, I took an L, it lost. If I quit and never get into business again, of course, the probability of me winning and being successful is slim to none because I only did one trial run. The more trial runs you do, the more iterations you do, the more, uh, more chances you give yourself where the surrounding area and the different randomnesses of variables align together so maybe on the third or fourth or fifth you have a w i say that to say that stop viewing success as just so linear everybody this is why everybody's success story is different everybody's time that it takes for them to be successful is different everybody has a different timeline because there's a lot of randomness involved like 
we see people on YouTube and we see people on the internet and we think literally, okay, they were sleeping on the couch and now they're making $5 million a year and it's just so linear. And it's not like that. There were many different variables and many different iterations that the probabilities came together and boom. So we live in a society now where we're looking on the internet and we're seeing a lot of successful people. But this is a small group of the probabilities that worked out and mind you if there's a if there's a group of a thousand successful people that we know and we look at on social media we have to understand that there were many different iterations for these individuals within the sphere of probabilities to put them in that place within the realm of randomness okay so to get inside of this group or be amongst the people that the probabilities work out this is why one would say don't give up and keep going because the probabilities eventually will work out on in your favor the thing is you just don't know the distribution of when success is going to come so the best thing to do is just keep going keep going and keep going now there is such thing as getting good at the wrong thing. There is such thing as doing something that is not necessarily your strength and you're playing towards your weaknesses. So I would even say before that, figure out what are you strong at? Figure out what do you like doing? Figure out what it is that you're currently winning at now and how can you expand that in the, within that area? And work, 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 where the probabilities start working in your favor. And don't think that you're going to see somebody and hear their story and it's going to happen just like you. And this is why I say, like, you have to fall in love with your story. Because, quite frankly, I spent a lot of time listening to other people's story. I spent a lot of time falling and that's what you're going to start off doing. You're going to listen to a lot of people on YouTube, on Instagram, on TikTok, on Facebook, and they're going to be in an interview or a podcast and they're going to tell a little bit about their story. And it might, you might find that you might be, have some similarities to this person, but do not fall prey to survivorship bias. Just because they did it doesn't necessarily mean the probabilities are going to work in your favor immediately. Over time, they might work in your favor if you keep going and you don't give up. But don't attribute the fact that they had certain factors that are similar to you you, and think that you have a higher probability of winning because you have some similarities with that person. There's a lot of different variables that have contributed to their success. So you have to let the probabilities work in their favor. Same thing goes with the girls. It's a numbers game. Every girl is not going to like you. Out of 20 girls you talk to, there might be one or two that actually like you. You have to keep talking to girls for the, the probability of an individual of a match coming. The more sample sizes you get, the larger the distribution the more women you could actually get that like you if you just play the numbers game. Yes, you might get fucked over. Yes, you might take an L. Yes, you might find out that that girl is talking to some other dude and doesn't really like you like that is keeping you in a certain area where, you know, that it's like low expectations, low energy. You will come across that. But what I will say is you'll never find the girl you, you, you really want to talk to or you really want to be with or you really find yourself happy with if you don't talk to a lot of girls and you think that talking to one or two is the solution because it's not. Because how can the probabilities of finding a good woman work in your favor if you're not willing to play the numbers game?
So the way you do one thing is the way you do everything. Most of concepts that we know are interconnected. So Yeah.